Muslim groups there have declared jihad on chocolate producer Cadbury after two of its products were found to contain traces of pig DNA. It's one of the world's most loved chocolate brands, and in Malaysia, it's been no different. Cadbury is easily found throughout the country, even in the smallest of sundry shops. So when the health ministry announced two batches of Cadbury chocolate bars had traces of pig DNA, many Malaysian Muslims were furious. Memang setiap kali pergi shopping ke, tengok Cadbury dia mesti beli. Memang saya marah lah sebab kita rasa macam tertipu. Kita seolah-olah ditipu dan kerana produk itu sebelum ini kita rasa halal kan. Cadbury's halal certifications for the two product lines have been suspended pending investigations into just how the locally produced chocolate became contaminated. Some Muslim groups want Cadbury out of the country once and for all, declaring jihad on the chocolate manufacturer. I think Cadbury should be shut down. Cadbury should pay for the mistake. Muslim groups held a press conference this week, announcing plans for legal action against Cadbury. But what grabbed headlines was Ms. Sambaria's demand that the company pay for Muslims to have their blood cleansed. I mean, that was said as a... I would say rhetorical uh, statement to show how angry we are to the point that we feel like cleansing the blood. You're lucky that Islam doesn't say that, you know, but the feeling is like that. You, we feel that we have been contaminated. Cadbury Malaysia is yet to respond to Channel News Asia's request for comment. But in an earlier statement, it assured the Muslim community investigations to the incident were a priority. Still, Malaysian Muslim groups are cautioning other nations to be wary about Cadbury products in their country. Sumisha Naidu, Channel News Asia, Kuala Lumpur.